Alrighty then, welcome to your Feel Good Breakfast Show live on SABC3. It's a Thursday morning and that time of the morning where we talk about nature. Now, insects are among the most abundant forms of life on our planet and they come in all shapes and sizes and perform a wide range of remarkable functions. And today we're looking at a very special group of insects, the silk spinners. And we're, joi we're joined by our resident bug specialist, Ariella Rink. And of course, we're going to be opening our lines again for you to call us and give us your questions and your comments. Perhaps you've had some encounters with silk spinners. That number is 08. 3913 Ariella, always a pleasure to have you here. How are you? Good, good. Thanks for having me on again. Excellent, excellent. So, uh, silk spinners. Uh, so, yeah. what are they and how do they differ from other forms of insect life? Okay, so silk spinners aren't a, a scientific group per se, but there are lots of um, spiders, not all actually, and uh, lots of insects that do produce silk. Yes. And they sort of come up with the idea independently. So, in spiders and in, say, silkworms, it um, performs, it it's a, produces a similar sort of material, but they've come up with it in different ways. Okay. Um, so, obviously, silk Silkworms are well known for the silk that they produce that we use to make uh, silk, fab uh, silk garments. Mm -hmm. And then spiders also produce silk, but and they actually use it for a range of functions, not just webs. Yes. Um, then you also get, uh, there's also a, a whole order of insects. So I think on the level of beetles, they're called web spinners and they make galleries and tunnels under bark and trees with web. Yes. Then um, there's also some ant, um, ants that use web to make, uh, to sew leaves together to make nests. Okay. And then young bees as well, when they're, when they're in those cells and they're being fed honey, um, they reinforce that cell with uh, silk in some cases. Oh my word. So it does, does all silk then come from insects? So, if you, if you want to include spiders and insects, like, as people sort of do, then you could say that they do. But really, spiders and insects are separate groups. Yes. If it's got eight legs, it's a spider or something related to that. If mm -hmm. it's got six legs, it's an insect. It's an insect. So, but between those two groups. That's yeah. incredible stuff. And uh, we'll learn more about silk spinners this morning with Ariella. And of course, you can call us on 083-9133728. You know, the, the silk that we use, right, mm. to make garments with, the silk that you buy in yes. store, is that a particular kind of silk and only one that comes from silk worms? Or? Yes, yeah, so that comes from um, the silkworm Bombyx mori which turns into a really beautiful moth, actually. So we call it a worm, but it's really, it's a caterpillar. Oh. Um, so it's actually a silk caterpillar. Next time yeah. in grade five, when your teacher says, yes, bring your silkworms, and ma'am, it's a silk caterpillar. Thank you very much. Yeah. Yes, so this is the silk that we use, and then we, uh, of course, build into all of these beautiful garments, whereas the other silk, like you were saying, that's spun by spiders, yeah. is a kind of a silk, but they use different substances or materials yes. to make it so it's not as strong and as yeah. hold. Um, so in both cases it's protein um, that's produced just like um, keratin for our hair and our nails, Those, that's also a protein. Yes. Um, so it does have some nutritional value and spiders will eat up their webs at night sometimes to take those nutrients back in. They will eat, it's like building a home and then eating the bricks. Wow. <laughs> uh, we'll talk more about these very interesting insects uh, uh, shortly. And of course, our number once again is uh, open 0839133378. Don't hesitate to drop us a comment on Facebook and Twitter either. We'll try and see if we can get those around and get your questions asked. Right now, uh, let's go over to Graham talking about the, the Wetland Day, the World Wetland Day. 